Hey everyone, I'm back. So I know it's been a little while since I've made a video. Um, if you watched the last one that was on this channel, it was my update of how I was going overdue. <laughs> um, you know, I got some comments from people that were like, you're not overdue at 40 weeks, but I felt, I felt overdue. I was ready to have that baby. <laughs> um, I ended up actually going 41 and a half weeks. So she did come a week and a half later than her due date. Um, and everything went just as perfectly as I could have imagined. Um, I had a lot of fears going into it, like with each day that went by where uh, I wasn't going into labor, I just felt like I was getting closer and closer to becoming ineligible to do my home birth for, for personal reasons that I don't want to go into. But, you know, there, there was a concern that if I didn't have this baby um, in a timely fashion that I wouldn't get to do the home birth. So. Um, I was just so relieved when I finally went into labor and uh, I got to have my home birth. It was just wonderful. Um, thanks to all of you guys who came to my Instagram page to get the daily updates on whether or not the baby was here yet. If you followed my stories, it was like every morning I was waking up and updating everyone with like, nope, the baby's not here yet. <laughs> it was just like my daily dose of comedy, like having to laugh at myself. But she did eventually get here and it was a beautiful birth, you guys. Like, if you've watched some of my old videos where I've told you about how Roman's home birth went, like this birth just could not have been more different. With Roman, it was a 70 hour prodromal labor, which means you're having contractions, but no progress is getting made. Um, so it just ended up being a very long, frustrating experience. Um, with my daughter, it was, just such a typical kind of labor. I started having contractions like around, I think five o'clock in the afternoon on a Thursday. By midnight, they were really into like full swing contractions. Um, and that was when my doula and my midwife got here. And then by just a little bit before 7.30 Friday morning, I had given birth to my daughter. Um, I did do a, a water birth at home and it was just like, Perfect. I'm gonna I'm gonna share my my birthing story. I'm not prepared to do that today just because I'm exhausted. My baby has her days and nights all turned around, so it's just like today is not the day to tell that story. I need to be well rested and and all. But I will be uh, making a video on that to share with you guys how it went, and of course to answer any questions that you might have about home birth and what it was like, what I would do differently, what I wouldn't do differently, things like that. So if you're following me on Instagram, you already know what my baby's name is. If you have not followed me on Instagram, then now's the big reveal, I guess. Her name is Abigail Grace, and um, we are just so crazy in love with her. This was the name that we had chosen for our first child that ended up being a miscarriage. And we really, really prayed over whether or not that name was appropriate to use for a, a new baby. And we grappled with it and, and prayed over it. Um, and eventually we came to the conclusion that people name babies in honor of loved ones all the time, whether you're naming your baby in honor of a deceased parent or grandparent or someone that you looked up to. It's a way of honoring someone that you loved who isn't here with you. And ultimately that was why we decided to stick with that name for this baby because it just seemed appropriate and, and healing in a strange way. So Abigail Grace is her name. She goes by Abby for short. And um, I'll be honest, I don't think she looks like an Abby. I'm still having a hard time getting used to that. Like I, she looks like a, like a Francesca or something to me, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna name her Francesca. I will show her to you soon other than pictures. Like I will put her in a video so you can see what she looks like. But right now she's just like a, like a big potato. She just sleeps all the time except at night. So once she's a little bit more alert, I will bring her into a video. Thank you guys for all the love and support. I still get daily messages from you guys just sending love my way and I just, I couldn't appreciate it more. Um, I have gotten a lot of requests for when I'm going to be starting back up with my videos uh, on packing and all those other things. So yes, I am going to be getting back into those videos. This channel is now officially reopened and back for business and I'm gonna be getting all that content out to you. In fact, today, if the babies cooperate, I'm gonna film my first packing video where I'm gonna show you how I'm packing my Jujube Be Right Back for two babies in cloth. So that should be out later this week. I will be having a first look at the 
black and bloom gingham style and gingham bloom prints from Jujubee. I'm sorry, my brain is a little mush, but I think those are the three names. We are bringing those to thesensiblemama.com, so as soon as I get my order in, I will do a full first look for you. In the meantime, you need to check out the content creators who are just cranking out content right now with those bags, so I will link those people down below so you can go check out their videos. Again, thank you guys so much for all the love and support. I have really enjoyed taking my little maternity leave from YouTube, but I'm so excited to be back and get some content cranking out for you. So um, if you have any requests, let me know, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.